the tracker, just so people understand what it is, it's a, uh, it's actually a, a what they call a super stock tracker. Ours uh, uh, runs on alcohol instead of diesel. Um, you take a motor that was probably 210 horsepower uh, stock, and they're probably now between two and three thousand horsepower. Um, but uh, it's specifically about the ride down the track. You know, the adrenaline rush is kind of like your drug or your high is the ride in the tractor. Yeah. Hey, the event's been going on since actually 1973. We were one of the very first pulls in New York State. Uh, they've gone from a single engine tractor, just like a small Ford 430 or yeah, 429 or something like that. Now one of our biggest tractors has four big black Chevrolets on it. There, This is a very competitive sport. It's a cubic dollar sport as well as a cubic inch sport. It's one of the biggest nights of our fair, and these people are just like family. This is the first pull this year for these guys, so we're very happy to have probably the biggest number of tractors and trucks we've ever had. Uh, there's three different tra three different classes. The first class you'll see is called the Super Stock, and that's still be taking a 45, maybe a 65 horsepower tractor. By tweaking it just a little, they're going to get a thousand horsepower out of it. Just totally unbelievable. The second class you would see is called the two-wheel drive. The front end never sees the ground. It's up in the air just like riding a one-wheel bicycle. And the third class are the modified one of the crowd favorites. And they go up to four engines on one tractor. They all weigh right about the top to be about 6,500 pounds. You're talking 3,000 horsepower. To me, it's the most amazing sport there is just because these guys can take these engines, take these tractors and put into a just a huge piece of equipment. As I said, they weigh about 6,500 pounds. They're pulling a 30-ton sled. And the idea, they call it a weight transfer sled, is the sled transfers the weight from the rear wheels right onto the drawbar of the tractor. We try to stop in the 300 feet. Sometimes we do it, sometimes they don't. Uh, you're talking tractors that not right now are very close to $200,000 a piece.